Welcome, my name is Vincent Luce with Forex Trading Institute. Please take a couple of minutes and read the following risk disclosure. Lesson 16, MACD. MACD, uh, which is the abbreviation for Moving Average Convergence Divergence, has uh, three components. It has a fast EMA, which is an exponential moving average of 12 periods. It's got a slow EMA of 26 periods. And it's got a, also has a smooth moving average of nine periods. And it gives us two signals, and I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, MACD. It's going to give us entry and exit points, and also divergence. You're going to learn that divergence is the strongest signal of MACD. Now, uh, MACD is a simple momentum indicator. It measures the differences between 26 and 12 day exponential moving averages. Uh, moving averages are lagging indicators. And we're looking for a disparity between price action, which is the, uh, the movement in the candles, and the direction of MACD. And this term is called divergence. A divergence may lead to price action. What's uh, MACD divergence? And divergence is just a fancy name uh, for moving in opposite direction. Okay, and there's positive divergence and negative divergence. A positive divergence is when the price action is making higher highs while MACD is making lower lows. And a negative divergence is when price is making lower lows while MACD is making lower lows. Now, positive MACD divergence, and we're going to see it here on the slide. Okay, this will be positive. You see that the market is making lower lows and MACD is making higher highs. This is a signal that the market wants to change direction. Okay, and you're going to see that the market's going to follow MACD. You want to anticipate a price move up. Now, if you're seeing that the market is making higher highs, but MACD is making lower lows, uh, you want to anticipate the price to follow uh, MACD and start following. You're going to see they're following. Uh, you're going to see the price, when there's a divergence, it always follows MACD. Okay, and MACD, uh, you're going to see this on uh, when you, uh, you go to the indicators and you press MACD. Okay, you're going to see that MACD has a zero line which enters the buy zone. Anything above the zero line is considered the buy zone. Anything below the zero line is considered the sell zone. And then you're going to see two lines, a blue line and a red line. Now, whenever we see, okay, and you're going to see that this is the MACD moving lines, and you're going to see that they cross up and they cross uh, down. Now, you're also going to see MACD as a histogram. And you can see it here, and you're going to see it, it's positive. When it's positive, when it's in the buy zone, the MACD is, is above okay, the zero line. And you're going to see it starts making uh, higher highs. And then you also see it uh, down. You could also see this in the separation of the lines. Now, a lot of people um, who can't see the separation will put the histogram and it'll make it clear. Okay, and you can see here uh, some people like combining uh, the histogram with the MACD. Okay, the histogram uh, of MACD with the lines of MACD. Okay, you can see it here in both. Uh, you can see the histogram and you can see the lines. Okay, now let's go uh, to the live market. I'm going to show you how to put, uh, and put uh, MACD into play. Okay, and let you, you just open up your chart and you go here where it says indicators, uh, and then we go to MACD. Okay, and we could also put uh, the histogram so I can show you how the histogram works. Okay, and uh, the first thing you want to do when you open up MACD. Okay, is open up and put. Uh, I like putting a line, and you're gonna see here. There's like a little dotted line on zero. Okay, when the market is above zero, okay, we say we're in a buy zone, and it's got a higher probability of heading north. 
and anything below uh, the zero line is called the sell zone. Now, when we're in the buy zone, and I just want to throw back, we want to see a cross up. That will give us an entry uh, signal. And look, let me just go back here so you guys can see uh, how would you put this to play. Uh, look how we have here. We're above. We're in the buy zone. Okay, and now we want to see a cross of the blue line crossing the red line. And we see it right there across. That, that would have been a buy signal. And the market rallied. And whenever it crosses again down, okay, it's a sell signal. It's to close our position. Now, it wouldn't be to enter short because we're not below the line, but it would be to close out our position. And this is how you use MACD for an entry point and an exit point. And as you can see, the market was also doing A, B. That would have given you a nice C uh, entry point. But look how it got you in a couple candles uh, later because it was a lagging uh, indicator. Now uh, the market rolled back and you're waiting for another buy opportunity and right there the market crossed. That would have been your other buy opportunity and then you see that the market uh, started rallying north and then this would have been to close out uh, your profit. Look how you had a nice, you would have got in here and got it out there. That's 165 pips just using the MACD uh, indicator. And as you can see the histogram uh, when you're in the buy zone, okay, it gets you when it's crossed up and there's nice separation, the bars start increasing. And when it's crossed down, the bars start uh, going down. So you want to use it always together with this. Um, you really don't need the histogram if you just could see the separation. Because the more separate the blue line is from the red line, the stronger the trend. Now, the str that's using the crosses of MACD. But the strongest indicator is the following. Look how the market right now is making higher highs and MACD is making higher highs. But as we can see in the following uh, trend, look how the market rallied up and made a higher high. Okay, uh, but the MACD didn't make a higher high. Look how uh, the market made a higher high and MACD was making lower lows. This is called a divergence. And this is the first signal, and this is probably the strongest signal, and very few traders know how to trade on this uh, signal. And you're going to see that this is the strongest signal. This is telling us that the market uh, has hit a top and now wants to start dropping because the MACD, it will always follow MACD. And as you can see, look at we would have got it in here. We put our stop above this high, and this was signaling that the market wanted to start going down. We could have also gotten in on the cross after the divergence, and the market rallied up a little, went sideways, and then started uh, dropping. Look how it gave us a nice uh, point. It entered into the sell zone, and now we're in the sell zone. And we had a nice drop from uh, when it gave us a divergence here to where we're currently now at of 383 pips. So it was the first signal, and you're going to see it's the strongest signal uh, looking at a divergence. So MACD is a very powerful tool. Uh, you just know how to you have to practice it and and recognize the trend. I like looking at the 60-minute uh, chart. Uh, to find divergence. Whenever you find a divergence, that's the strongest MACD signal, stronger than the crosses of buy and sells. Okay, my name is Vincent Luce with Forex Trading Institute, and I'll see you at the next lesson.